The Indian Navy stands on the cusp of a new era, defined by the awe-inspiring capability of the INS Aragat. This isn't just a submarine, it's a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, or SSBN. The INS Aragat is the second submarine of its class, following the INS Arihant, which entered service in 2016. These submarines represent a quantum leap in India's naval capabilities, placing it among an elite group of nations with indigenously developed nuclear-powered submarines. The Aragat is a testament to the ingenuity and skill of India's scientists, engineers, and naval personnel. It's a statement of India's arrival as a major player on the global stage, capable of deploying sophisticated military hardware. The INS Aragat is a technological marvel, a testament to Indian engineering prowess. Its sheer size is impressive, measuring approximately 110 meters in length and 11 meters in width. At the heart of the Aragat lies its nuclear reactor, providing virtually unlimited endurance. This means the submarine can stay submerged for months, limited only by the food and stamina of its crew. The Aragat's range is virtually unlimited, enabling it to patrol not just the Indian Ocean, but also to project power far beyond India's shores. This ability to operate independently for extended periods makes the Aragat a potent deterrent, always ready to respond if called upon. The INS Aragat is a potent symbol of India's nuclear deterrence, carrying a formidable arsenal of submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs. Its primary weapons are the K-4 SLBMs, each capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to targets over 3,500 kilometers away. This range allows the Aragat to strike deep within enemy territory, while remaining safely distant from potential threats. In addition to the K-4, the Aragat can also carry the K-15 Sagarika SLBMs, with a range of over 750 kilometers. These missiles provide a flexible option for shorter range targets, further enhancing India's second strike capability. The Aragat's armament is not limited to ballistic missiles. It also carries a range of torpedoes for self-defense and engaging enemy submarines and surface ships. The INS Aragat is designed to be a silent hunter, operating with exceptional stealth in the depths of the ocean. Its advanced anechoic coating absorbs sonar signals, making it extremely difficult for enemy sonar to detect. The submarine's streamlined design and highly efficient propulsion system minimize noise emissions, further reducing its acoustic signature. To navigate the vast expanse of the ocean and track potential threats, the Aragat is equipped with a sophisticated suite of sensors, including advanced sonar systems. These systems provide a clear picture of the underwater environment, allowing the crew to identify and track enemy vessels with remarkable accuracy. The Aragat's combat management system integrates data from all its sensors, providing the crew with a comprehensive tactical picture. The INS Aragat is far more than just a formidable warship. It's a cornerstone of India's nuclear triad a vital component of its nuclear deterrence strategy. This triad, comprising land-based ballistic missiles, strategic bombers, and sea-based assets like the Aragat, ensures that India can respond to any nuclear threat with overwhelming force. The Aragat's ability to remain hidden beneath the waves for extended periods makes it a highly survivable platform, ensuring that India's second strike capability remains intact even in the face of a surprise first strike. Beyond its role in nuclear deterrence, the INS Aragat also significantly enhances India's maritime security. Its presence alone is a powerful deterrent against any potential adversary, projecting India's naval power far and wide. The Aragat's ability to operate independently for extended periods makes it ideally suited for patrolling India's vast exclusive economic zone safeguarding its maritime interests. In times of conflict, the Aragat could be used to enforce maritime blockades, 
disrupting enemy shipping and crippling their war effort.